This video is about 50 high yield rapid review questions you will likely encounter during your hematology exam. So here we go. Question number one. What is the most common genetic disorder in Caucasians? In a question stamp, they can give you different genetic disorders that tell you the patient is Caucasian. They're going to ask you which one of these is the most common, and the answer is hemochromatosis. Question number two. What is the most common race affected by thalassemia A? When it comes to thalassemia A, you should be thinking about Asians, and an A in the Asian stands for thalassemia A. Or thalassemia A, A stands for the Asians. What is the most common race affected by thalassemia B? B is for Mediterraneans. Question number four. What is the most common bleeding sites for hemophilias A and B? So in the question stamp, they can tell you the patient is from Europe or they can tell you it's Asian, and they're going to tell you they got the hemophilia and they're going to ask you what is the most common bleeding site. And the answer is joints, likely ankle or knee. Question number five. Most common cancers, not one, but two, most common cancers causing fever of unknown origin. That would be leukemia and lymphoma. So if you have a question stem and they're going to tell you a patient has a fever and they cannot pinpoint the origin, you should be thinking about leukemia and lymphoma. Question number six. What is the most common cancer amongst the patient population of 15 to 19 years old? and that would be Hodgkin's lymphoma. So in a question stem, if you see a young patient that is between 15 and 19, you should be instantly thinking about Hodgkin's lymphoma. Question number seven. Reed Sternberg cells should make you think of what? When it comes to Reed Sternberg cells, you should be thinking about uh, Hodgkin's lymphoma. And the way I remember this, and I would advise you guys to think about mnemonics, little stories, that would help you remember the information when it comes to the high yield information. And the way I remember this is, have you read, have you read about Hodgkin's? So if I'm thinking about read Sternberg cells, all I can think about is, have you read about Hodgkin's disease? So Hodgkin's lymphoma, read Sternberg cells. All right, guys, for all of you that already subscribed to my channel, thank you very much. For those of you that haven't, hit that subscribe button. Help me grow this channel. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about these videos. And if you have time, check out the book. It has over 3,800 questions just like this for every class of the didactic year. I just wished I had something like this when I was in a PA school. It would significantly help me save time and spend that time with the things that I like to do outside studying. So let's continue. DBT test of choice. So they're going to tell you a patient was immobilized in the ICU or this was a pregnant patient that was just, you know, in a bed rest, so forth. And they're going to tell you what is the next best test or test of choice for DBT. And that would be a Doppler ultrasound. Question number nine. HIT syndrome often results in what? So in the stem, they're going to tell you the patient has a HIT syndrome. And the worst case scenario for this patient would be a loss of limb or life. 10. Lymphoblasts should make you think of what? So if you see a lymphoblast in a question stem, you should be thinking about ALL. LL for lymph in the ALL. So ALL lymphoblast. Question number 11. Our rods should make you think of what? So if you see our rods in a question stem, you should be thinking about AML. So our rods... AML. Myeloblasts should make you think of what? Myeloblasts should also make you think of AML. M in the AML stands for myeloblasts. That's the way I remember it. So, myeloblasts, AML. Number 13. Polycythemia vera is what? So, polycythemia vera is increase in hemoglobin above the normal levels. Too much RBCs and erythrocytes produced in the marrow. Number 14. Treatment for Van Willenberg disease. That would be desmopressin. Desmopressin is a treatment for Van Willenberg disease. Low molecular weight heparin is contraindicated in low platelets and renal failure. So they're going to give you a question stem. They're going to tell you the patient has low platelets 
or they can tell you the patient has the renal failure, and they're going to tell you which one of these medications is contraindicated for this particular patient, and that would be low molecular weight heparin. Warfarin should be overlapped with heparin for at least how many days? So it's an easy question that test makers can make. So they're going to tell you the patient needs to be on warfarin, and they're going to overlap it with the heparin, and they're going to ask you for how many days? Uh, this is also a pimping question you can encounter during your clinical year, and the answer is for five days. And the INR needs to be greater than two for at least 24 hours. Question number 17. Most common population affected by B12 deficiency. So when it comes to B12 deficiency, you should be thinking about vegan patients. So if there's any question stamp with the vegan patients mentioned, you should instantly be thinking about B12 deficiency. Most common anemia is iron deficiency anemia. If you hear pica, you should be thinking about iron deficiency anemia. So this will be the young kid that is eating paper, eating other non-food stuff. Uh, ice is another one. So if patient in a stem says they're eating paper or they're eating ice, you should be thinking about pica, and that patient likely has iron deficiency. Again, guys, uh, hit out that subscribe button, leave a comment, let me know what you think about this, it super helps with the algorithm, helps me grow this channel, and I truly, truly greatly appreciate that. Number 20, iron deficiency anemia labs will show what? So in a question stem, they're going to give you labs, they're going to give you different values, and if you see low ferritin and a high TIBC, you should be thinking about iron deficiency anemia. Once again, iron deficiency anemia, low ferritin, high TIBC. 21. Most common cause of microcytic, microcytic anemia. So you can see this most common is a really high yield stuff because you're going to be pimped on it. You're going to see it in your questions all day long. And the most common cause of microcytic anemia is, again, iron deficiency. Most common cause of macrocytic anemia. And that would be B12 and a folate deficiency. So B12 folate deficiency with macrocytic anemia. 23. Sickle cell disease has what inheritance pattern? And sickle cell disease has autosomal recessive. And the way I remember this, sickle cell kids love recess and autos, the cars. So if I think about sickle cell, I just think about sickle cell kids, and I say, what do they like? Well, they like recess in school, and they like to play with cars. So auto Recessive. Sickle cell plus salmonella in a question stem should make you think of what? And that would be osteomyelitis. So if you have a question stem and they talk about a kid that has sickle cell and now they're diagnosed with salmonella, the likely other answer to their question is osteomyelitis. Sickle cell peripheral smear will show what? It will show target cells, how jolly bodies. And the way I remember this is there is nothing jolly about sickle cell. There is nothing jolly about sickle cell. So if question stem asks about peripheral smear in a sickle cell, I will just say to myself, well, there is nothing jolly about sickle cell. So how jolly bodies target cells. Most common inherited bleeding disorder. Very commonly pinned question during your clinical year. And your question stem, they're going to ask you about bleeding disorder that is being seen in this patient, they're going to ask you what's the most common inherited bleeding disorder, and the answer is von Wilber disease. Smooth, beefy tongue. You should be thinking about B12 deficiency vegan patients. Most common childhood malignancy. Most common childhood malignancy is leukemia. Most common childhood leukemia is ALL, acute lymphoblastic leukemia, and the way I remember this, ALL, like all kids. Which leukemia the kids have? Well, all kids have ALL. ALL x-ray may show what? It may show mediastinal mass. So the question stem, they may tell you that this is a kid with leukemia, and what is the most common finding on a chest x-ray, and the answer will be mediastinal mass. 31. Hemophilia B is deficiency in which factor in 
hematology, they love to play with factors. They create a lot of questions about it. So when it comes to hemophilia B, that would be factor 9. Hemophilia A is efficiency in which factor? And that would be 8. So the way I remember this is 8A, 9B. Just in like alphabetical order. So the efficiency in a factor 8, A, and efficiency in a factor 9, hemophilia B. 8A, 9B. Most common type of hemophilia, and that would be hemophilia A. Hemophilia A diagnosis is all normal but PTT. It will be increased. So the INR, PT, they all will be normal, but the only one that will be increased will be PTT. Desmopressin is not useful for which hemophilia? And that will be hemophilia B. So in the question stem, they're going to tell you this is a deficiency in a factor 9. So you know A, a 9B. And they're going to tell you which one of these medications is not useful for this hemophilia. And they're going to list four different ones. You should be looking for desmopressin. Desmopressin is not useful for hemophilia B. Most common small vessel vasculitis in childhood. And that would be Henoch Schonlein purpura. HS purpura. HS purpura is the most common small vessel vasculitis in childhood. What is the most common bleeding disorder in a childhood? And that would be ITP. So ITP is the most common bleeding disorder in a childhood. Most common cause of thrombocytopenia. Most common cause of cytopenia, thrombocytopenia is ITP. CML age group is 30 to 60 years old. So we know in the pediatric patients with all the kids, we say all the kids, ALL, with CML is 30 to 60. Number 40. Which chromosome is seen with CML? And that would be Philadelphia chromosome. So Philadelphia chromosome, CML. CLL age is over 60. Only one that starts after 60. So if you have a question stem that is talking about patients older than 60 years old, and they're going to tell you which leukemia is likely associated with this patient, you should be thinking CLL. ALL, kids, CLL, greater than 60. Drugs that can cause G6PD. And that would be anti-malarial drugs, sulfa, nitro, and fava beans. So they can list all of them. They can ask for only one of them. So but if you see G6PD, you should be thinking anti-malarial drugs, sulfa, nitro, and fava beans. <laughs> Most common inherited cause of hypercoagulopathy. Factor of v laden mutation. Most common inherited cause of hypercoagulopathy. Factor v laden. How does the platelet count determine the treatment for ITP? Well, greater than 50,000, there's no treatment. 20,000 and 50,000, you should use prednisone. And less than 20,000, it's IV, immunoglobin, or Rogam. So knowing these numbers will help you determine the right answer. So greater than 50,000, you don't need any treatment. 20 to 50, prednisone, less than 20,000. IV aminoglobin or Rogan. Multiple myeloma blood smear will show what? It will show Rolex sign. Multiple myeloma urine will show what? It will show Benz Jones protein. So if you hear Benz Jones protein in a question stem in the urine analysis, you should be thinking about multiple myeloma. 47. Facial plethora should make you think of what? Facial plethora should make you think of Rudy cyanosis or polycythemia vera. Thalassemia diagnosis. It is diagnosed with hemoglobin electrophoresis. So they're going to tell you questions, stem that this is patient with thalassemia, 
and they're going to ask you what's the next best test to diagnose this patient, and that would be hemoglobin electrophoresis. Question number four, 49. Glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase, or G6PD, deficiency is what? That would be the Heinz bodies, bite cells, and the way I remember this is Heinz bodies, just the Heinz makes me think of ketchup, and bite cells. So on that G6 plane, a G6, like super fancy private plane, so on a G6 plane, I was taking a bite, and I had some Heinz ketchup on my shirt. So if I think of Heinz bodies, I think of ketchup and a bite cells, so I was taking a bite out of a hot dog or something, and I had ketchup on me, and I was doing that on G6 plane. Most common cause of B12 deficiency, and that will be pernicious anemia. Alright guys, so we made it through the 50 hematology questions. I hope you like it. Hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you think about this video. Help me grow this channel. I truly, truly appreciate that. Thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.